it's your girl sin and i am back with another video and today i'm going to be screen printing some tiles so if you want to see what i'm going to be screen printing on those tiles stay tuned t-shirt check welcome back t-shirtpreneurs big timers old timers and if this is your first time watching my videos welcome first timer today i'm going to be screen printing an awareness logo onto some tiles and before i even show you the design i'm going to let you guys know that i have a link for creative fabrica down below here which is where i actually got this design and a lot of other designs that i use to print shirts here at my business so if y'all interested make sure you click down below and use my link and you can get a good deal on a membership to that website right here i have some tiles i'm gonna show you the tiles these are the tiles that i'm going to be printing on and they are just some QT's tiles right here um if you just google that it should pop up a place where you could purchase if you're interested but they're just some white tiles and i'm going to be doing a one color pink print on to these tiles and right here this is the design design right here that i'm going to be printing onto those tiles. I have not even burned the screen yet. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the back and I'm going to burn the screen. And uh, once I get that screen burned, it's not going to take that long to just fly through these tiles. All right, so I'm back here in my dark room slash kitchen area. And I don't know if you really call it a dark room because to be honest with you, um, we, people say that it needs to be in the dark. You, you don't really want to have your screens just sitting out in the open. But as you see, I do have lights on in here. You don't want to just like leave your screen sitting out in the open for a long period of time. You do want to store them in a dark space, but you don't necessarily need a dark room. That's like one of the myths of screen printing. A lot of people think that you actually need a dark room. If you have like a box that your screens can fit in, or as you see right here, mine is not even fully covered. As you can see right here, light can get in through here, but usually I have the light off back here unless I'm coming in here to do something. So unless you really just like leaving it under the light, for 24 hours every single day you should be good with that but i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna show you guys right here this is it's a thing that i used to register my screen so it all it is is like a big transparency film and i put it onto like a big a, a core plast sign and that's all this is so what i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna put it right here on top of my exposure unit right here and i usually put the screen clamp side, the side where this is where, if you had a back clamp on your screen, which I have side clamps, this is where um, it would be right here. So I'm just gonna put it right here. I need for my image to be, this is a 20 by 24 inch screen right here. That's the size that I'm gonna be using. And I need for my image to be about four fingers down right here, which is right here. So I need my image to be not above this little space right here so what i'm going to do i'm just going to um put my design here i'm gonna put it right here and i'm going to line it up but even before i do that i'm going to put tape on all four sides of it so that i can place my screen down on top of it and once i place my screen down on top of it the tape will stick to it and that way it will have a good contact on there so that it can expose without any space being in between this, you know, it will be right up against the, um, the glass. So I'm going to go ahead, put it on here. And I do have full tutorial videos on how to screen print on my channel. And I sometimes offer classes. So if you guys are interested, make sure that you leave a comment and I can um, try to help you better. So right here is where I keep my screens. I'm just going to grab one out of here. Actually, let me see what. That's a 160. I'm going to see if I have a 110 mesh. If I have a 110, I'm going to go with that. But if not, then I'm going to go with this 160. Okay. All of these are 160 and 180. So 
right here. So that's 160. And I have a video that explains what a 160 mesh screen is and all the different sizes that I use and when you should use them or why you should use them. So I'm gonna go ahead right here. I'm going to um, place my screen down, lining it up with the edge of where it says the screen for my size, which is the 20 by 24. Gonna go ahead, line it up there and lay it flat all right that's that'll be enough room i really could have came down a little bit more so now i'm just gonna uh i don't know i think i should have came down a little bit more on that but i'm gonna go i'm gonna just go ahead and go with it like that I'm, now i'm just making sure that the tape is sticking all right so now that i have uh, made sure that the tape is sealed all around that it's stuck to it all around i can pick it up and right here as you see it did not stick to it at the bottom so you know, it's stuck to it on the sides. The top, I, because I started so low down, that didn't stick. So I'm gonna just put a couple of extra pieces of tape on there just to make sure that it holds it down. And then I'll remove this off of here and go ahead and turn that on and lift this up and put this hose inside there and it's ready to go now my exposure unit is a vacuum exposure unit so i don't need to put anything on top of it to hold it down to make sure it gets full contact once i close this top and seal it and i press the start button you can see it's actually sealing everything up now it's got perfect contact and it does not take long. I think it's like eight seconds and now the exposure is complete. So all I do is remove my screen now. And I've been having an issue. Okay, it didn't happen that time. I've been having an issue where the ink was coming off and getting onto the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it over here and get ready to wash it out. All right, so the first thing that I do with my screen is spray it. Spray it with the water to stop the exposure. And if you look close, you can see where the design is coming into the screen. So I'm just gonna let this sit for a moment just to kind of absorb some of that water in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wash it out. That's what it's looking like. I think we're ready to um, let it dry and then we get ready to print here short. And now I just turn on the fan and the heater. And my de dehumidifier is actually full, so I'm gonna empty it, but it shouldn't take but about 15 minutes or so for this to dry. All right, looks like the screen is dry. Um, look like it's pretty much dry. Yeah, it is dry. We gonna go ahead and go print some. All right, I'm gonna show y'all how I figured out where I need everything to be lined up at. So what I did was I took my towel right here and because the tag is here, I want to print it so that if you hold it up, this is the correct way so that the, you can read the tag correctly, which that's not a big deal, but that's just something I want to do. So what I did, 
I already did this, but I'm gonna just show y'all how I did it. So these laser lights are showing me a couple of different things. Like this is the edge where I line my towel up at, and this is where I line up my registration marks. So when I put this towel right here and I line it up on here, you know, it may not be perfect because the towel is not like squared. So, but as close as I can get that right there. And now right here, I have my design and I want it to be centered. So I already measured and I know that right here, if I line it up exactly right here, it's gonna be centered on all four sides. But right there is centered on this side. It's centered on that side and on this side. So it's centered. All I have to do is line my screen up just like how I just showed you with the registration marks on here. So now I'm just going to tape up my registration marks. And the screen is ready for print. All right, so over here, I have the pink inks that I have. And I actually have two different pinks. And I have this lighter pink, which is an international coatings, I believe. Um, no, this is actually Ryopake, Ryopake. And I've had this like since I started pretty much. This is one of the first ones right there. You can see Ryopake. I don't even know if they still have Ryopake. And right here, this is Union Ink. This is their, what is it? Neon Pink. That's their Neon Pink right there. So we're going to be using the Neon Pink. Um, I don't know. I probably do have enough of this one, but I don't want to take the chance because I don't have that many tiles to print. I just want to go ahead and knock them out. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use this neon pink right here. I didn't even record me putting the ink on the screen. I thought I did, but it's on there now. It is on there. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use, let me make sure it works. I'm gonna use this squeegee right here because these squeegees, you just get a lot better print using those squeegees. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, set this thing up right here so that I can do a test print on my test pellin, so. I'm just gonna flood the screen. All right, so that's what we got right there. We are gonna go ahead and go with it. All right, so here are all of the tiles right here. Finished, eight tiles printed. This is the rest of the order right here. Um, the shirts, I printed these shirts on the live stream earlier today. I'll leave that link right up here for y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bag these tiles up and put them in here with the rest of everything. I found a bag that will fit it. I don't even know what was in this bag. I'm sure it was some type of apparel so it'll be fine 
but I'm just gonna um, make sure that I have them all the tags and everything all stuck down have a make sure that it's pretty flat and slide it in the bag and I do have a sealer let me see I could seal the bags seal the bag up I'm gonna grab my sealer real quick. All right, so I have my sealer, and my sealer is not that long because I actually purchased that back when I used to do video editing because I used to always seal up my DVD. So, so I'm gonna have to seal it a couple of times to get it completely sealed. So I'm gonna go ahead, slide it on here. Go ahead, seal it. All right. I'm gonna turn it this other way and I tell you what because the towels are not that long I'm gonna I'm seal the end off right here that way I don't have so much to seal and then I'm gonna seal it on this side and I'm doing this just I mean you don't really have to do this but this just you know makes stuff more professional all right, so now all I have to do is seal this part right here. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my scissors and cut that off. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this part off because that's what you would do when you seal it. You just cut the excess off and that way it'll be easier for me to seal the remaining part right there and trying to make sure that it's on that same line with that. All right, so now I'm just gonna cut the excess off of this top part. And now it is sealed right there, looking all professional and stuff with your bad seal. So go ahead. We already got the shirts already packaged up. And now we just throw the towels in there. If you found value in the video and like what you see, go ahead, hit that thumbs up button to show your support. And if you're still watching and you have not subscribed, what are you doing? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future episodes. And I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in another episode of T-Shirt Chick TV. But until then, be blessed.